Last week it all kicked off as views of my spaghetti carbonara recipe skyrocketed on YouTube. Traffic to the Warren Nash website went ballistic as people clicked to see what the fuss was about. It almost buckled under the pressure with over 3,000% more hits. But the worst was yet to come on Facebook with over 16,000 likes, over 10,000 shares, but oh dear, over a thousand comments from a lot of disgruntled Italians. I'm Italian and this recipe should be illegal. The debate continued. You Italians all live in a parallel world. This is how carbonara is being served in restaurants all over Europe. The real carbonara is only spaghetti, bacon, eggs, onion, pecorino and pepper. Don't call it carbonara, there is an original recipe. People should be respectful of traditions. Nobody gives a sh**. And one final plea from Italian chef Antonio. It's people like you who ruin the reputation of Italian food. So I'm asking you, please, to stop disrespecting years of traditional Italian cuisine. Do what you know is best. Okay, jokes aside, that really wasn't the reaction I expected after recently posting that carbonara recipe on the web. One thing it's told me, Italians, you are definitely passionate about your food. So I thought it was only right to help build bridges to whip up a traditional carbonara recipe using the method that many of you shared on Facebook. So, here goes. Okay, to start with, get yourself a saucepan, stick it on the hob and then chuck in a knob of butter. And once the butter's melted, throw in 75 grams worth of pancetta and one finely chopped onion. Then fry the ingredients whilst continuously stirring for about 5 to 10 minutes or until the pancetta has just started to crisp up. When your mixture looks something like this, then place in 175 grams worth of spaghetti that you've cooked until al dente. Then briefly combine the ingredients together. Remove the saucepan from the heat and then take three egg yolks and pour them into a jug. Then pour in 50 grams worth of pecorino cheese or if you can't find that use parmesan. Then thoroughly combine the ingredients together and if you find it's too thick use some of the starchy water from the pasta to help loosen it up. Stir until you've reached your desired consistency and then pour the mixture over your pasta. And finally, using a couple of spoons, toss all of the ingredients together until everything's thoroughly combined. And then simply serve up into bowls and grind some black pepper over the top. And that, I believe, is how you make a traditional carbonara. And dare I say it, if you like the look of this recipe, please do leave a comment below.